Hi, so today um, I'm going to be testing the um, the voltage to the leisure battery. Um, last time we were away over in Northumberland, um, we've never had any problems with our leisure battery um, all the times that we've been away, but last time we were away at Northumberland, um, obviously it was maybe a two and a half hour drive on the first, uh, first stint of the journey, um, and we had all the electrics working fine. The only thing that we actually run the electrics off is the fridge. Um, obviously, we've got the tiny spotlights in the roof, but this time of the year we, we haven't needed them or anything else. So it was really just the fridge and occasionally the tap um, that runs on 12 volts as well. Um, but what we found was that the by the end of, well, certainly the next year, the there wasn't enough power to run the fridge. You opened the fridge door and the light in the in the fridge was just flickering. Um, you couldn't turn one of the other lights on and the tap was literally just spurting a little bits of water out. So obviously it led to believe that the, um, obviously we've got the switches with a little volt reader on there as well. And our leisure battery voltage had dropped down to about sort of eight um, and then so we're done without the fridge for the rest of the um, the rest of the trip when we were up at Abs and stuff, um, and obviously the drive home didn't make any difference to the the battery starting to charge back up. So I'm thinking there's either I'm assuming it's the battery's dead. I mean I haven't got a the battery came with a van, so I don't know how well the battery is, how many times it's been used and discharged and whatever. I'm assuming the battery's not good, but what I don't want to do is put a brand new battery on for the same problem if it's a problem with something else so gonna quickly check the voltage on this battery uh, on the starter battery first just to get a baseline and then move along to the leisure battery in the back so i've been talking to the guy next door um i did actually buy a voltmeter but the guy next door um works for the AA, so he's lent us his okay sorry just trying to get my foot into the van so obviously the van starts no problem at all. Um, the guy next door has lent us this little gadget for testing. So I'm gonna, well, he did give us some instructions, but chances are I forgot what he said. So anyway, I'm just gonna pop the bonnet up and then we'll check underneath in a second. So the gadget that I got off uh, my neighbor is for testing the ampage. So I'm just gonna spin you around. Um, and hopefully get a, a shot of the amplitude on there at the moment, let's have a look. So the amplitude, anything from four, four and a half, peaks up to sort of the five. So I'm now just gonna do exactly the same at the other end where the battery meets the, uh, well, sorry, where split charge cables and everything meet the battery on the other end. So two minutes. So interesting, uh, this is the cable that's actually earthed. The split charge relay is actually under the seat and it's earthed to the, the chassis under the seat. Um, so I was expecting that to actually have kind of reading other than it is minus there which I think you never had said but if I've got this on the wrong way around it will show a minus as opposed to a, a positive but obviously turning that round just makes it awkward to actually see so let's just try and see what we get um, you did say put it next to the cable and hold that button to clear it It's actually shown that I think what I'll do is I'll jump in the back of the van and take a look where the cable actually meets the battery as well. So bear with me for two seconds. 
Yeah. Bear with. So this is what we've actually got on the leisure battery side. Um, I think I'm gonna have another word with my neighbour, show them the numbers and see what he reckons. Um, just to show you as well, I mean obviously it's hard to say here with the sun, but that's obviously the display and there is nothing whatsoever displaying on there. I know this battery, um, obviously it's been a couple of weeks since we were last away, it did completely die down I think by the time we got uh, by the time we got home we were down to sort of five amps in the battery and obviously I've been backwards and forwards to work a couple of times and been out of a bit pot around and stuff like that but it's obviously just continued to drain uh, to the point where now there is nothing in it at all so anyway I'm gonna have a quick chat with the neighbour and come back and we'll have a look at these figures again and see what's what um, 100% I know I need another battery but like I say I'd rather make sure all the cables is working before I put another battery on and kill that so like I said we'll double check in a second bear with us so just been another, another chat with the neighbour um, told him the figures I'd get him through his little gadget thing um, he's confirmed that it looks like the uh, split charge relay is still working doing its job the way it should but the battery is just completely goosed and uh, at the end of its life as I say, the battery came with the vehicle, so I haven't got a clue of its history, how long it's been fitted, how many times it's been run down or wherever, I haven't got a clue. So, obviously, I wanted to check to make sure we was, the split charge really was still doing its job. What I didn't want to do was put a brand new battery in for the same thing to happen and me kill another battery. But it looks like the split charge really is working, it's doing its job, no problem, um, and the battery is just at the end of its life it's not accepting any more charge so the battery that's actually fitted currently is a, a Neomax DC25MF um, the figures on it is 105 amp C20 850 amp or, uh, and it's English so I'm guessing it's 105 amp hours because it's AH then C20 and then 850 amp I don't know, I don't, don't really know much about batteries, but I'm going to have a bit scout around on the internet, see what's what, and see if we can get a, another decent battery uh, for not a massive amount of money. So, catch you in a bit. So, after scouring the internet, I've came up with, I think I'm going to go for the Advanced AGM LP120 Leisure Battery. Special offer at the minute, £150. Um, free delivery, next day delivery if it's ordered before 4pm. And this is of a company called ABS Advanced Battery Plus. Oh, there's another 5% discount as well if I use that code. So that's the one I'm going to go for, I think. What's your thoughts, Bracken? Bracken? off that battery? No, I think we will. Good line. Let's just flip around again. Who have we got here? Is there a Lily? Lily? In the camera. <laughs> so all good. Just place the order. So I've got the advanced AGM LPX 110 Leisure battery, 110 amp, 12 volt, um, and used a discount code that I had, so I ended up getting the whole thing, including shipping for 137.75. So fingers crossed, that will be the one that uh, that'll be the one that we need in the van, and it'll be a little bit better than the one that's already. Well, anything's better than the one that's in there, because that's knackered, but it'll be better than the ones that you know. Yeah, we'll see what that's like when it turns up. See you in a bit.